I don't know about you, but I'm way past tired of hearing about Jody Sue Brown, since she has little, if anything, to do with the Summer Wells case. Is social media helping people like this profit just from being one-time neighbors of the Wells? Let's break down the facts. We're almost in June now, headed towards the one-year mark since Summer Wells went missing. And now some Tennessee YouTubers are making a big deal about one of the Wells neighbors having security cameras on their property? Give me a break. I remember hearing in the first few days that Summer Wells went missing that the local police were asking people living proximate to the Wells to come forward with any video camera footage from their properties. While I did later read that no one came forward, the fact that the police ruled early on that there was no third party kidnapping involved if there had been any footage provided, it would have showed the expected local traffic only. It's actually laughable to me that anyone would believe that Candace Bly disposed of Summer Wells' remains in a manner which prevented them from being discovered by anyone. Please, Candace Bly can barely get out of her own way. No, it was Don Wells who came home that day, and Don Wells who disposed of his daughter's remains. And while they originally discounted the possibility that Don had involved someone else by having Summer cremated, I'm now left to wonder if the sheriff's officer at the TBI never even questioned people like that mortician David Dotson about that because they don't want to have a reason to arrest either of the Wells. Why, you ask? Why don't the authorities want to have to arrest Candace and Don Wells when their five-year-old daughter is dead? and never coming back? Of course I'd like to be able to believe that Robin Lane smuggled Summer off to North Carolina, where she's been safe and happy ever since. Or that Grandis spirited her off Meth Mountain in Shitty Shitty Bang Bang, and she's somewhere in Wisconsin being cared for. I'm a realist, though, and I know better. So do the authorities, given their last official statement about Summer Wells being nearby. No. The authorities didn't want to have to arrest the Wells over the accidental death of their youngest child, even if that accident was under circumstances which rose to levels of criminal negligence. Whether felony child endangerment due to an accident at the Blystei or criminally negligent homicide due to an accident at the swimming hole, I'm convinced at this point that Sheriff Lawson knew from the start that Summer Wells died because Candace Bly screwed up big time. White trash and then our parts screw up big time, all the time. And if the law went around arresting this element every time something bad happened due to a screw up, they'd have no room in the jails for the thug element committing the really serious crimes. I never believed that there was any criminal intent behind the disappearance of Summer Wells. While her useless excuse for her mother, Candace, should have known better than to give her child pain pills and alcohol to zonk her out or leave her unattended at a swimming hole while she had unlawful sexual relations with a minor, something else she should have known better than to do. There was no intent to do fatal harm to this child. Therefore, Sheriff Lawson simply doesn't see the benefit of holding unfit parents like the Wells accountable under the law especially if it means that Hawkins County will be left holding the bag when it comes to having to support the Wells boys as wards of the state for another decade. Now I'd like to hear from you. If you agree that it's most likely that Don Wells was the one who disposed of his daughter's remains, do you think that it's more likely that he buried Summer on his property or off his property? Thank you for watching and for clicking on the like and subscribe buttons. See you on the next video, where we'll continue to break down the facts.